Hello everybody. You are looking at the Southern Arizona Desert. Sonora Desert? I think it's the Sonora Mountains. Oh, I hate the wind. I'm sorry. There's some towers. And there's Dharma. My beautiful Dharma who got me here. Yay. How you doing? Hopefully the wind's not blowing too bad. <clears throat> it's, it's chilly, man. Chilly down here. I'm, I'm as south as I can go next to the border, right? It's not the forest of cactus I was telling you about, but there goes the wind again. Damn it. Um, it's funny because I was going to go to another spot. This is for people that are traveling um, on Highway 8 um, going from Yuma to Tucson. Yeah. And there's a there's a basically a road called Freeman Road, and that's basically where the BLM is. I was down further, and there was a there's another BLM spot. And there was an old house and a little ranch, right? And some guys were hunting out there, and they're like, "Dude, you don't want to be out here." He's like, "There's a lot of traffic, drug trafficking and stuff." And he's like, "You better off go." He he told me about the Freeman. They told me about here. He's like, "Go down there. There's more people camping, so you're not by yourself." So, especially if I'm, you know. Anyway. <clears throat> so you gotta be careful when you're traveling, especially by yourself, especially south of, towards the border, because you know it is what it is. Life, people want a better life, and a lot of them are just hardworking, wonderful human beings. And that's all I gotta say about that, right? Okay, I'm gonna put myself in there so you can still hear me while I, you know, before I turn off my video. So I made it safe today to my spot. No longer in quartz, and that was an interesting experience. The funny thing was. I guess when I got there, it was just started getting hopping, right? All the snowbirds were showing up, all the Canadians and stuff. So, yeah, took a shower, did some laundry, and got the hell out of Dodge. That was it. So now I'm going to sit by fire tonight, and tomorrow I'm headed for Tombstone to see what happens. I'm, I'm curious. I'm interested. I love the history. Wyatt Earp was badass. I'm telling you, talk about the man. Talk about somebody who should have been a president. You know, that guy would have been a badass president. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, anyway, I love you. God loves you and the universe loves you. And just keep rocking. You're awesome. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. And that's what you got to tell yourself every day. Trust me, I get up and boy, sometimes it ain't easy. But I get up and I just start thanking. I start thinking, thank you. I'm still here. Thank you. Gratitude. That's what I express all the time. And that's what the universe wants to hear. That's what God wants to hear is that you're just happy to be here and lucky. You've, you're grateful for the breath of air that you have, right? Everything. That's how I feel about it. And that maybe that's the magic. Maybe that's the, you know, the secret ingredient. It's just to be grateful. Even if you got nothing to be grateful for, you'd be grateful. That's important. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to chill. I love you. And God loves you and the universe loves you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out real quick and let you just check that out. And you get some wind on it. You get some wind on it. There's, it's beautiful down there. You know, it's chilly right now. I, I'm not big on advocating, you know, people going to other countries. But if you're going to cross, if you're going to come out to the desert and try to get to America, do in the winter. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, I love you. I love everybody. That's why I'm the emperor of the universe. Everybody is in my scope. I love everybody, even the assholes. Okay, not so much. You try. You try to love them. Good Lord knows I've tried. And you still got to. You just you look at them like a child that was just really neglected, really screwed up, and they became a really fucked up human being, right? And you just weep for the child, right? And you pray for the child in, the, in that horrible human being's body, right? That's all you can do. Anyway. That's why it's important to heal that inner child. It's important to get those childhood traumas out of the way. Love yourself. And you will once you do. Once you get all those childhood traumas out of the way, you're going to love yourself. You will. Anyway, just as much as I do. Myself and you. I love you too. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Enough babbling about me and love. Hey, bird. There's some birds. Hi, bird. Anyway, okay, enough of this shit. <laughs> love you, bye.